Hi everyone, my name is John Morrissey. I'm a, a lecturer in the School of Microbiology at UCC and director of CK402. And I'm joined here as well as Ruth uh, with uh, Dr. Dave Otway from the School of Chemistry. Okay, okay so uh, the two people here, I just introduced ourselves, myself, uh, John and uh, Dave uh, below. And uh, Dave looks after everything to do with first year chemistry and, and more. Um, and, and so he's got a lot of uh, very relevant information here as well, and indeed provided some of the slides that, as he told me, I stole. Now, Biological and Chemical Sciences is a CK402 programme here at UCC, and there are a range of different degrees that you can get. Sometimes I refer to them as degrees and sometimes I say degree outlets, but these are the names of the degrees that you might get uh, if you do um, Biological and Chemical Sciences. And it's just worth noting. Yeah, I, I, I'm hearing a bit of background there, I think. Um, yeah, so, so it's, it's worth noting that e even though the degree is called biological and chemical sciences, all, all of these degrees are equal opportunity outlets. There's a number of um, biological degrees that you see listed on your left, uh, biochemistry, biotechnology, microbiology, neuroscience, physiology and um, also applied plant biology. That's a little bit different, but I'll mention that in a moment again. Then we've got um, what you might call consider chemistry oriented degrees like chemistry, chemistry of forensics, uh, chemistry of pharmaceutical compounds is sort of a hybrid between biology and chemistry really has got both. And then this program also has the opportunity to do science education um, to be either a chemistry or a biology teacher. Just before I go into the details of this program, I thought it might be useful for you to just clarify where CK402 sits relative to maybe similar uh, CK entry streams at UCC. And some people have already asked questions about these, you know, what's the difference between CK402 and CK404 or CK402 and CK406. Um, and the main difference really between any of them are the degree outlets that are possible if you come into that entry stream. So I'll talk about CK402 in a moment. You can see CK404, Biological Earth and Environmental Sciences. Um, the session for that was already last week and the recording is available on, on the website. Um, you've got genetics, you've got chemical sciences. I know the recording for that is also on the website. And you've got biomedical sciences, which actually is a C or entry. Um, and that's a joint degree with um, Munster Technological University. Uh, and, and so the, the entry is actually through that route. Now, there are a couple of degree outlets that can be accessed from different entry streams. So, for example, chemistry or chemistry with forensics are available from CK406 and CK402. And applied plant science is, is available from either CK402 or CK404. But apart from those ones, um, you need to go into the right entry stream if you want to do a particular degree program. I'm going to talk now for the rest of this session, uh, and, and Dave will come in as well uh, later on, uh, about these degrees which are available from uh, CK402. Broadly speaking, uh, one can divide the degrees into what I call biology oriented degrees and chemistry oriented degrees. And within the biology, we've got biochemistry, which is really looking at the cellular and subcellular level of living organisms. Um, our degree program especially focuses on human biochemistry. We've got biotechnology, which is the use of living organisms to make useful products. That could be food, uh, pharmaceuticals, um, chemicals to replace fossil fuels uh, and, and so forth. Microbiology is a study of organisms that are invisible to the eye includes bacteria, viruses, fungi. Of course, it's been in the news a lot with uh, COVID and uh, SARS-CoV-2, but there are many other aspects of microbiology as well, um, focusing on beneficial microbes as well as the pathogens. Physiology uh, is a study in UCC. It's a study of, hu of humans and other animals function at all levels. So it's really compared to biochemistry, which looks at the cells and subcellular level, Physiology focuses more at, at the whole organism level and looks at the interaction, uh, interactions within uh, that organism. 
Neuroscience, as, as its name suggests, focuses on the nervous system and the study of that. And then your science education, which is if, if you want to qualify as, as a biology teacher. In terms of you know what actually goes on within those degrees, there'll be sort of there'll be too much really for me to describe each one of them in, in great detail. But I, I thought putting up the, uh, the UN Sustainable Development Goals might give a little bit of a picture. Now, these are uh, 17 goals that the UN put forward uh, to be achieved by 2030. And they put them forward in 2015. And um, pretty much uh, all national and international policy now around science is focused um, towards ach achieving these goals. And a lot of them relate to uh, biological and chemical sciences. So if you think of things like uh, goal number two, zero hunger, zero hunger, or good health and well-being, goal number three, uh, it's easy to see how biological uh, sciences and pharmaceutical sciences and microbiology and biochemistry fit into those. Um, if you look at number 12, responsible consumption and production, uh, you can think of things like bioethanol, uh, sustainable uh, production systems, replacing fossil resources with, with um, bio-based resources. Think of green chemistry. Uh, you can switch over to number seven, affordable and clean energy. Again, look, looking at uh, biofuels, anaerobic digestion. So, so a lot of our biological programs can be mapped on to these different uh, UN SDGs. And indeed, uh, UCC uh, has positioned itself as the leading Irish university for sustainability. Um, and we, we have um, pretty much pretty comprehensive action mapping of our programs to, to these and other sustainability goals. Now, if I say what, what about chemistry and the, the chemistry oriented degrees, um, most people will have an idea what chemistry itself is about. It's the properties and behavior of matter, but then there, and it's possible to do a degree in that. But there's also a couple of varieties, chemistry with forensic science, which is really looking at analytical chemistry, forensic methodology, a uh, very uh, detailed um, work, or the chemistry of pharmaceutical compounds. This is looking at a little bit of the interface between biology and chemistry. And uh, it's a very important topic if, if one thinks of um, the industry and the, the work that's going on in the Cork area in particular in the discovery and manufacture of new pharmaceuticals. And again, on the chemistry oriented side, there's a possibility uh, for a degree in science education. So, so chemistry, it's not just all fires and explosions, you know, maybe looking at leaving cert chemistry, one has a particular perspective on it, or indeed, if you haven't done chemistry, you probably have a perspective, but in fact, it's, it's, it's very broad and chemists work in many, many different sectors. And you see a range of them listed here. So while there are people, um, people who do a chemistry degree do end up, I suppose, as classical chemists, as, as you might imagine them, they also end up working in energy, environmental food sectors, um, in, in health, in healthcare, um, in water, in analytics, in energy production. So really, it's, it is a, it's a very diverse kind of topic as well. Now, you know, what sort of students en enter um, the CK402 program? So, and I suppose, you, you know, all of you are on here because you've already expressed an interest and, you, and you've um, put CK402 on your uh, CAO uh, forms. So, I mean, we have students who are interested in biology and biological sciences. Maybe you're studying that um, at Leaving Cert already and you really like it or you like aspects of it. Or conversely, maybe you're doing chemistry and you really like chemistry and there's some aspect of that you're interested in. And, and you know you wanted to agree in, you know, in chemistry. Or you, know, you might like biology and chemistry, but you're not sure which you prefer. You like them both, but you're, you know, maybe you're doing them for the Leaving Cert, but you're not really sure what they're about in college and, and you don't want to pick just yet. Um, or maybe you like biology, but you're not quite sure you know, whether you want to get into the area of plant science or are you more interested in other life sciences or in molecular biology or in molecular life sciences. 
that we have students who already know that they you know they either they know they want to be a biology or chemistry teacher or they think they might want to be a biology or chemistry teacher and, and they would like to have that option uh, we have students like that come into the program and then there's other students that just like science uh, want to do a degree in science and um, maybe aren't more interested in either biology or chemistry or indeed they might like physics um, and they would like to do a science degree so we, we actually have students some students know exactly what they want before they come in uh, most students actually don't know exactly what they want um, but, but they have an idea maybe of, of what they want and why they're entering the program. Sorry, sorry my slides have stopped advancing for some reason there. Okay, so if I go to the other extreme, uh, what are you going to do afterwards? Uh, many, many different things is, is, the, is the short answer. Um, a lot of people will get a job straight away. Uh, and I would say pretty much everybody nowadays who wants to get a job straight away does get a job straight away um, in the bio and the biopharma sector in the pharmaceutical and chemical industry sector in the food industry or environmental sciences other areas as well this is just a subset there are more people uh, a lot of people decide they want to stay on and do higher degrees uh, master's programs or phd programs and i, I would say maybe depending on a particular degree maybe 30 to 40 percent of people might decide to do that uh, because people are interested in doing research whether it's in academia or or in industry we, we have students go on to do graduate entry programs each year you know some of you might be here now looking at ck402 but you might also have all be considering dentistry or medicine or pharmacy and um, maybe, maybe this isn't your first choice um, or you know, maybe it is your first choice, but once you come into it, you might decide, look, actually, I, I do want to be a doctor. Um, we, we have students every year um, graduate from our program and enter these different graduate entry um, streams. So that's an option. We have people become teachers. And then we have some people who um, have what, what we might call interdisciplinary careers. You know, for example, if you want to do patent law, if you need to do a, a science degree first and then um, law training, with some people sort of go outside the mainstream science, they may be going to risk assessment, environmental assessment, management consultancy, um, all, all, all sorts of things. Uh, the skills that one develops a, a, as a scientist are widely applicable in other sectors, even though our, our focus you know, within this program, of course, is, is, um, is on the science. Just have an idea of you know, types of companies, I mean, the list, I mean, I, I couldn't fit the list of, of companies uh, on the page. We, we do a survey um, a number of months after graduation every year, the careers office do, and we have a list of companies where people work, and, and it's huge. Um, just in terms of what names that, that you would know, I, I think you, you will recognize a lot of those names here, and most of which are sort of in this region. But many people get jobs as well in other places. You will get a job in the Cork area if you want to stay here, but you don't have to stay here. You, you will also get jobs elsewhere. Uh, I, I suppose one of our biggest employers at, at the moment is the, um, the biopharma um, sector. This slide is a, is a couple of years old, but uh, the trends, if anything, have, have, um, have strengthened uh, since then. And what you can see, if you just take a look at the numbers, you know, almost 24,000 uh, people employed in, in Munster in 2018 in this sector. So by, by far um, the biggest sector nationally, and in terms of the counties or areas, you, you can see that Cork nationally is uh, the major employer in biopharma medtech. Um, the closest is in the Galway area, and in fact, it's mainly medtech uh, up there. And since then, you know, people might have heard of major announcements of Regeneron and Limerick, um, Biomarin in Cork, uh, Janssen and Cork, Eli Lilly and Cork have, have all expanded a lot. So, so there's tremendous opportunities in the biopharma sector, but I would emphasize it's not just biopharma and um, many other industries as well recruit our graduates. I, I wanted to say a little bit about the organizational structure of the program. I'm not gonna talk about entry requirements because I think people know about those, but, but we, if, if you have questions, you can ask uh, at the end. So, what one of the 
um, important features of our program is that in first year, everybody does the same thing. There's about 200 students uh, come into first year biological chemical sciences and everybody does the same program. There are no electives, uh, it's a core program. And the reason we have that core program is that it gives equal opportunities to everybody. And so at the end of first year, it is then possible to start selecting which stream you're going to go in, whether you want to go into a biological sciences stream, uh, giving rise to those degrees on the left, whether you're more interested in chemistry orientated degrees, uh, like you see on, on the right, or are you interested in uh, applied plant biology, which so, sort of moves people a little bit from this program towards CK404, which is where the home of applied plant biology is, but it's, it's the same degree that uh, students from our program enter. Or you might want to go to science education. You also choose that uh, at the beginning of second year. Um, I won't talk so much about the detail after that. Because the most important thing to note really is that all degree options are still possible at the end of first year. So it doesn't matter what you came in to do or what you thought you wanted to do. At the end of first year, you, you will decide then which one you actually want to follow. Now, in terms of the first year structure, uh, I said everybody does the same thing. Now, it's a mixture of biology, chemistry, and physics, and maths. Um, the level is, for biology and chemistry, the level is, is uh, a bit higher than Leaving Cert, um, but it's not the same as Leaving Cert because we kind of, I would say, we do different biology and chemistry. Um, and we do a third of the year uh, biology and chemistry. And then there's 10 credits of physics, which is, um, more or less at leaving cert level, probably lo lower than honors uh, physics level. And there is 10 credits of, of maths. And, and that maths, I would say, isn't, um, isn't too hard either. Um, you can see that we talk about credits and modules. So the Irish universities use what's called the ECTS credit system. That's the European credit uh, transfer system. And that allows us to have uh, interchange with other European universities because it's recognized internationally what each ECTS credit is worth. So we have courses uh, in five credits or 10 credits usually, uh, sometimes 15. Uh, and we tend to use the word module and course interchangeably. So you can see in biology, we've got four modules of five credits each uh, in first year. You know, one is a biochemistry module, one is a microbiology module, um, and two are more general biology modules. Chemistry has got two 10 credit modules, uh, and, and you can see the different things there. So that's what everybody does in, in first year. Um, okay, I think everything that's on this slide uh, I've said already. A, a five credit module is about 100 to 120 hours of study and learning. Um, and I'll say in a moment what that study and learning is. 60 credits per year is an international standard for an undergraduate degree. So this will be the same um, in other Irish universities or indeed in European universities. Now within a module that, that 100 to 120 hours, it's a mixture of study, of course, lectures, uh, there can be assessment, there can be ongoing assessment. Uh, for some modules, there'll be practical lab classes. There might be field work. Um, not so much actually a first year for, for, the, for the modules that we've got in this course, but, but there are practicals and there's problem solving sessions and there are tutorials, uh, self-directed learning, that means study, can't get away from that. Um, so, so this is what goes on in any module. So uh, I'm coming towards the end of the, I'm gonna say the structured part of this presentation. Um, why would you choose this? Um, you've already expressed an interest and it's really because I think most of you here are interested in biology or chemistry, or maybe both. Now, you may or may not have studied them for, for your Leaving Cert. Um, that doesn't really matter. I mean, if you're interested, you're interested. But if you haven't studied them, you know, you should find out a little bit more, I would say, about the subjects uh, before you commit. But, it, uh, but being interested is more important than having studied them already. Uh, so let's assume that you are interested in biology or chemistry. 
Another reason then why you might choose this degree, let's say over other degrees, is the flexibility it gives you. You might have a very firm idea in your head already that you want to be a microbiologist. You want to study viruses. But it may be that, you know, halfway through first year, you'll discover actually chemistry is my real calling. That's what I want to do or biochemistry or, 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 or some, something else. So having that flexibility of not having to choose uh, until the start of second year um, is, is, a, is a strength, we think, of this program. That's, a, that's sort of the flexibility within the program. And the other um, flexibility that you've got with this program is there are really many, many different career job types and career directions you can go coming from this, uh, from this entry route. So you have a lot of prospects afterwards. You're giving yourself many options. You don't have to have decided any of these things now, but you will have plenty of choices uh, by the time you come to the end. So, um, I, I, yeah, so I'm going to talk about some of the questions that have come in first, and then uh, after that, I'll, we'll switch off the recording. And then if people want to ask their own questions, um, either if your question hasn't been properly answered or if you have another question, uh, we'll, we'll be happy to address it, e either myself uh, or Dave. Now, people have, a few people have asked, should I choose um, CK402 or CK404, CK405 or CK406? It, um, it really depends what you want to do. I mean, if you are certain that you want to do chemistry, and that's, it, it doesn't matter really whether you choose CK402 or CK406. Um, if you're not sure, if you think you want to do chemistry, but maybe you want to do biology, well, then CK404 is better. Sorry, CK402. If, uh, if, you're not, if you're pretty sure you want to do either zoology or applied plant biology, you should go to CK404. But if you're not sure whether you prefer the ecology side of things or the, the molecular side of things, well, then you should choose CK402. So it's a case of really looking at what the degree outlets are and picking the one that matches where your interests are and maybe gives you, gives you choices and options just in case it turns out not to be exactly what you wanted. Um, people have asked about what are the opportunities afterwards? Well, I've said a bit about jobs al already. Uh, lots of opportunities for master's degrees and postgrads. Uh, we have people go to graduate entry programs every year from different, from microbiology, from chemistry, from biochemistry. It really doesn't matter. Doing any of the degrees will equip you nicely for graduate entry, uh, medicine or pharmacy, if, if that's what you want. Um, will you be able to travel? Absolutely, you will. Um, I mean, these are very portable degrees. The skills that people get, both in terms of being a qualified scientist, but also the, the, the specific disciplinary skills are internationally recognized, highly sought after. And we, we have many people who go abroad every year um, for, um, for postgraduate positions or, or, or for jobs. Uh, people have asked me what kind of job would I get with a physiology degree or a microbiology degree? Um, well, I, I listed some of the kinds of companies and areas earlier. Uh, I mean, there's so many diverse jobs, it's, it's hard to be very specific. And often what you'll see when you look at job ads, you'll see people um, advertising for somebody with a, a strong life sciences or life sciences or chemistry degree. So very often the jobs that people get, particularly let's say in the biopharma, are, it, it doesn't matter which of the degrees you've done. Uh, what will matter is how well you've done in your degree and what other kind of skills you have acquired while you're in university. Um, now, there are some very specific jobs. Sometimes people advertise for microbiologists because they're interested, let's say, in environmental sampling or um, maybe a chemist because they want to do atmospheric sampling. So there can be very specific jobs as well. But in general, uh, most, you know, there, 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 there are, um, most jobs are quite flexible in, in what the degree is uh, within a broad range. People are always worried if they haven't done you, you know, one of the, the top of chemistry, physics, biology, honors, maths. It's not a problem. Um, if you haven't done, you, you know, if you haven't done two out of the three of chemistry, physics, and biology, 
it will be a bit more challenging for you because you, you you're kind of starting from a little bit um, of, a, of a lower knowledge base. But we teach all of the courses assuming that that there is a section of the class have not done that subject before. So it really, you, you know, and people who haven't done the subjects before do just fine in them. They do as well as the people who have, to be honest. So it's not a problem if you haven't done them before. But but you know you you will have to work. But, but everybody will have to work anyway. Um, some people have asked about the course timetable. Uh, you have to get out of bed every morning, that's for sure. Uh, so the science program uh, is busier than, I don't know, we're still being recorded, so I don't really want to give comparisons of busier than some other programs. Um, you won't be flat out, but but you, you will have material every day. You will have lectures every day. You, you will have practicals a lot of the days you'll have um, homework assignments but you'll have plenty of time as well for for uh, downtime and for extracurricular activities um, it's not an exhausting program but it's a busy program and, and, and you will be on campus engaged in activities um, every day is it all exams or also coursework um, there's a lot of coursework um, a lot of uh, small assessments uh, tutorial sessions, problem solving, multiple choice quizzes, uh, laboratory practicals, uh, and they're ongoing all the time. Uh, so there are exams at Christmas and at summer, but, but as well, there, there's other things, ongoing assessment uh, as, as you go on. Uh, people have been worrying, wondering about opportunities within the program, uh, placements. So some of the degrees have formal placements, uh, sometimes they're in the summer, sometimes they're not. O other programs have informal placements, uh, either in research labs or in industry. It depends. But I mean, in a general sense, I would say within CK42, placements are possible. Uh, it's certainly possible to get research experience as well. A lot of people do this. And there are, there are some Erasmus opportunities for people who are really keen on going abroad to do, uh, especially in third year, I would say. It, it, it's possible uh, to do that. Uh, people have uh, asked, I didn't really fully understand the questions, but um, about the student body, sort of type of students. So I would say, you know, we've got young and mature, immature as well, I have to say, but um, we have international students. Uh, we, we have um, English speaking, native English speakers and non-native English speaker international students. We tend to have quite a few people from Erasmus come to do the program, um, especially in second and third year. Um, we have a very diverse uh, student body, uh, both in this program and uh, in the university as a whole. And that adds a lot, a lot of value to the, to the interactions, I think, uh, within the program. Um, are there quotas on, uh, on doing each degree? It depends. Uh, in the end, there are limits on entry into pretty much every degree. So, you know, 200 students come in, 200 students can't do microbiology. We just wouldn't have the, have the capacity. So there are some quotas uh, and streaming as we go along. But, but by and large, um, most people end up doing a degree, you know, more or less what, what, what they want. There are some tight quotas, for example, chemistry of pharmaceutical compounds, there's only 20 students or biotechnology, there's only 20 students. But for the students who, who kind of wanted to do those and maybe just miss out, they, they will end up doing, you know, if they want to do biotechnology, they'll do microbiology instead. And, you know, a lot of that is quite similar. Or instead of doing CPC, the chemistry with forensic compounds, sorry, with pharmaceutical compounds, they, they might do um, chemistry with forensics or regular chemistry. And again, there's quite a lot of overlap. So, so there are some quotas along the way, but um, I don't think there's something that, that you need to worry about at this point. O other than then the last question that I'll answer here is um, people want to know, despite everything I've said, you know, can I choose at the beginning, look, all that choice is fine, but, but I know I want to do microbiology. Can I just pick that now? Uh, the answer is no, you can't, um, because that, that, that would kind of defeat the whole purpose of, of, having, having, the whole purpose of, of having the options. Um, so, so it's not possible to choose at the beginning of this program because we do have this core uh, first year. 